Da, 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 da. So, I came first in a karate tournament. I won the gold medal. And I feel very indifferent about winning. Because whilst I am grateful and very proud of myself for such an achievement, I don't... I feel a bit underwhelmed with my own emotions. I was expecting myself to be, you know, ecstatic and oh my gosh, I can't believe I did this and then and then. Yet, I think the more valuable thing than actually winning was the lessons that I learned from this tournament and from starting karate in general. Now, I started karate, may I think it was two years ago. I was a weedy 16 year old boy. <laughs> feeling very out of place in a karate dojo because the majority of the students are obviously you know, kids under 10 years old and things. And I could never have thought of myself at that point being able to win a karate tournament, being able to come first. And I never would have realized the insights that karate would have given me that I can apply to everyday life. And this, I think, goes for many other martial arts as well, whatever it is, you know, boxing, taekwondo, muay thai, all the different types, it's, very very insightful how the different aspects of these sports can be applied to everyday life now i know that the sort of i don't know what it is vibe around karate and the way that people think about karate is like you know they think it's like karate kid where you're like you know chopping balls in half and going what are <laughs> stuff like that <laughs> you know and i mean i don't know for different styles of karate but i know for my style of karate wadaru that's not really the case it's a lot more sort of disciplined in a way you sort of learn more valuable techniques like i don't think i've ever seen anyone in the dojo like actually do a karate chop because if you like karate chop someone's head you're more likely to just shatter your hand because of someone's skull but alas, people ask me these things and they're like, oh my gosh, can you do the uh, thing from uh, Cobra Kai or Karate Kid? And it's very fun to listen to people. The first lesson that I want to share with people, and I think it's the most valuable thing that I learned, and this was from the Karate Tournament, was getting punched in the face is fantastic. Now, I know that's a very weird statement to say. I know it's a, like, you know, why would you want to get punched in the face? And I'm not fully understanding why I've come to this idea, but... I know that when I was in the fight, um, I was in the final of the tournament, I was fighting a guy from my own club, a guy that I'm good friends with. We joked beforehand because we were in the same category saying, oh, you know, it wouldn't be funny if we went to the final. We both got through to the semi-final and then both ended up meeting each other in the final. So beforehand, I just grabbed his hand and I said, let the best man win. He said, you too. And we essentially tried to kill each other. <laughs> I think there was, you know, an added sort of rivalry between us because we were part of the same club. And I remember one of like the um, the mothers of one of the kids of the cry who was watching saying, do you two uh, not like each other or something? And I'm like, no, why? He said, oh, you would look like you were trying to really hurt each other. There was a lot of punches to the face. And with me, I had a, what was it? A punch to the face right in the nose and my beautiful Persian nose. Still a bit sore today, even two days after. And I also got a kick to the neck, which sent my head rocking back in place. After I got punched in the face, after my like face was throbbing and I won and I was like, you know, stumbling back to where people were watching me from and where our club was at, I wanted it to sort of happen again. I wanted sort of that experience because being punched in the face, although it's not a very nice feeling in the moment, it brings you into the moment. You cannot say to me that once you get punched in the face, you're not going to be thinking about anything else. You're not going to have brain fog. You're not going to be thinking about what you're having for dinner that night or what someone said in high school years ago or that embarrassing moment. No, you're going to be thinking, you're going to focused is going to be on this situation. I was hyper focused in that fight. I was thinking of nothing else but winning that fight. The fact that I've been punched in the face and the fact that I was going to punch him back in the face. And I like to sort of compare it to the feeling that you get in the gym, right? A lot of people, it's interesting how the gym is a very difficult place. It's a very hard thing to do, like pushing weights and like physically feeling your muscles burning, getting those microscopic tears in your mu muscles being sore. When I was doing leg press this morning, I could feel the burn in my quads and it was, it's a very, it's not a very painful feeling, but it's like very uncomfortable. You just, your body's telling you to like stop. 
But as soon as you put the weight back on, that feeling is gone. You want to feel it again. You want to feel that burn. And I think this is a similar experience to getting punched in the face in karate and other martial arts as well. Now, I'm not saying, you know, go out into the street, pick up some fights and just get whacked bare enough because in the face, because that could cause some very severe damage. And I know you look smacks in weirdos, wouldn't want your precious jawline or nose to be slightly off. But alas, I can wholeheartedly say that getting punched in the face has been a very valuable experience for me. And another valuable experience, valuable knowledge that I've gained from karate is the ability to be able to smash someone's face in, the ability to be able to like beat someone till their face turns blue, but refusing to. Now, of course, in, in a karate tour, then everything's sort of like measured. We've got gloves on, we've got gum shields. The younger ones have to wear these like massive helmets now and things to avoid head trauma. And the guy that I was fighting against actually got nearly got disqualified. He got three warnings for, I think it was that kick that he did to my neck that sent my head like that. I actually had one of the paramedics who was on standby come up to me afterwards and ask me if I was okay, if like I could breathe properly. And then there was like the punch to the face that sent my head rocking as well. Sort of that, you know, lack of control that I think sort of made me win the fight more because we were very even in these things. We were very even in the fight, but it's because I got the first hit on him. We drew 1-1 at the end of the round or the end of the match, sorry. And because I hit him first, I got the first point. I was the one who eventually won. But I think it could have gone either way. If he'd have got that head kick that went to my neck onto my actual head, he would have got three points and won. But anyway, getting a bit sidetracked. The ability to be able to fight some someone and walking away is a very powerful thing. Because, you know, a lot of people like to say that they're humble. And I think humbleness is a trait that's too far sought after now. There's a difference between being humble and being weak because the guy that's sort of like, oh, I don't want to get involved in fights and you know, violence is never the answer. But yet, if he was in a fight, he'd get absolutely destroyed. That to me is weakness. He's saying that he doesn't want to get involved in a fight because he'd most likely lose it and hurt himself. Whereas the guy who is an experienced fighter who would be able to destroy this person, someone's chatting shit or they're trying to get him into the fight, yet he walks away. That is very powerful. That is a statement in itself saying I have the ability to completely destroy you, but I'm not going to. And I think lessons like these from such sports like karate, boxing, etc. really bring into perspective the power that young men have, that young men can have if they just believe in themselves. If someone was chatting shit or something, I know, let's say I was on party, someone was chatting shit trying to get me into fight. I know that I could right hook that guy or do a punch right to the face, kick him in the chuffing nuggets and he'd be on the floor crying like a little girl. Now I could do that and I could show everyone how strong I am, but sometimes that can have a negative affair and effect. Of, and of course, you know, I could end up in prison for that kind of stuff. But if I have the ability to know that I can destroy this guy, but choose not to and walk away, that in itself is a very powerful statement. It shows way more character than fighting with your fists. And it speaks a thousand words in only one action. And I'm very glad that I chose to do Karai. Well, I, in fact, I didn't really choose to do Karai. I just was, you know, it's my mum and dad. They wanted to like toughen me up a bit. But I was, it was never really my goal to enter tournaments and to win medals because I didn't have that confidence in myself. In fact, this tournament, I wasn't even going to enter. My sensei was trying to convince me, convince me to enter. And I just said, oh, I'll do the next one, you know, because I have done a tournament before and it was not as successful as this one. It was a tournament last year and I got third place out of three people. So I came last. <laughs> And after that, I was just like, you know, I've experienced what tournaments are like. I'm not really fussed. But then last minute, I gave in. I said, let's do this tournament then. Let's see what it's like. And I won. My hard work paid off. I proved to people that doubted me that I could do things. That luck wasn't necessarily a case of it. That I had the ability to do things and to show people what I'm made of. And I'm so grateful that I have been able to do that and be wonderful wonderful sport that is karate has inspired me to become the man that i am today so i hope you've learned something from this folks and 
。ありがとう。日本人ですか<笑> ?Japanese is not the best. Goodbye. <笑>